I know that many of you heard that I had uh, surgery done this week. I had orthopedic surgery done on my foot. And it was done the day before yesterday. I wanted to do this short video to explain how it went for me because this was the first major healthcare issue I had since I've been in Ecuador. And when I come back, I'm going to share the story with you. Hey! Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. There's an orthopedic surgeon here in Monta. His name is Dr. Juan Fernandez. He's highly reputable here. He, he's, he's been in, I don't know how long he's been here, but his family has been doctors here for uh, generations. So I had to have this surgical procedure done on my foot, my right foot. This, if you can imagine that this is my toe, my big toe on my right foot. This joint right here had so much uh, arthros arthro arthrosis, is what he called it. Arthritis, basically, is what it was. There was so much of it built in the joint that it, could, it wouldn't allow me to bend my, my toe up or left or right or up or down. I could, I could bend it down, but I couldn't bend it up. And what it meant for me was that I had to basically walk on the right side of my foot. And I've been doing that for probably four or five years or longer. And it really messes your whole body up when you think about your whole skeletal uh, structure. Everything has to be in balance, you know, for you to be, for it to be right, I guess. You know, I don't really know how to explain this, but it's like if one thing is off kilter, it affects the next and it just goes on and on. So, me having to walk, instead of being able to walk like this, I had to walk like, basically like this, on the side of my foot, and, or maybe like that, on the side of my foot. And recently, I stepped off a curb, and I stepped down on my toe, and something snapped in there, and so that's why we had to have the surgery. And it was considered an emergency operation, because... Uh, it's not something that could wait. It's causing me a lot of pain and discomfort. So anyway, I'll just give you a fair warning here. Some of the images you're about to see might be a little uh, unnerving to some people. It's uh, I'm going to blur out where they actually uh, show where they made the incision on my foot. Stella came into the operating room with her camera and and took some video of the doctor operating on my foot. And of course, you know, the doctors and Stella, everybody all knows everybody. It was pretty comical. I, I have to say, healthcare here in Ecuador is not anything like you can compare to in the United States. I'll just give you a little brief rundown of how it went. I showed up at the clinic. It was an outpatient clinic, outpatient surgical center in Porto Viejo. I had Juan Zambrano take me and, and Stella. Stella went with me. And uh, we drove up there. It's a 45 minute drive from Monta. We went in. They called me in. They checked my blood pressure, you know, checked all my vitals and everything. Maybe strip all my clothes off, put a gown on. The kind that we all love to hate because it's open in the back. Everybody sees your butt. It's so funny. When, when Dr. Fernandez showed up, he came out and sat with me and explained how things were going to go and, and asked me if I had any questions. And we talked about everything from, you know, what medication am I expecting to get after the operation to how am I going to pay you? We talked about all this stuff. You know, you don't do that with a doctor in the United States. You, 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 well, you don't negotiate, period. And you deal with insurance company. Now, in this particular case, I'm going to have to pay a, a, 
up front and then get reimbursed by my private insurance company, which is okay. I don't mind that. But the thing is, it's like when it was time for me to go in and get the actual surgery done, Dr. Fernandez was there with me through everything. The nurse, the anesthesiologist came in to do a spinal tap on me. They did not put me to sleep for this. They did a spinal tap. And the, Dr. Fernandez literally had me sit on the edge of the table, <clears throat> and I had to. He told me, oh, chin down, shoulder down, chin down. And then he put his hands on my shoulder, and he literally held me in place while the anesthesiologist is back there poking in my spine. And I'll tell you, a couple of those made me almost cry. It was so hurt so bad. Now I know what women go through when they're giving birth and they have that spinal tap done. It's, it's, I, Stella said, oh, that's a piece of cake. Well, she just about took me off the table with it. But it worked. They put, it put my legs to sleep. You know, they laid me down and covered me up. And Of course, it's freezing cold in this room, and I was shivered like crazy during this whole operation. But Dr. Fernandez asked me if I wanted to listen to any particular kind of music, and I said, yeah, how about some classic rock and roll? And sure enough, he found it on his phone, and he put his phone on the table, and it played classic rock and roll while he operated on my foot. It took about 45 minutes, and when he was done, he told me to look up, and I looked up at the x-ray display, and there he, could, he showed me how he's moving my toe around, side to side, and up and down, because he, he literally replaced the joint. He replaced his whole joint right here. And the, the new joint was built, 3D printed. And he put that in there. And I don't really want to go into a lot of detail about it because it's pretty gruesome. But to me, it's just a, nothing short of a miracle that he's able to do this. And But more importantly is, is that the personal attention that I got from this doctor, because in the States... When I had my hernia operation, I didn't even see the doctor until it was time to put me to sleep, you know. I, I dealt with nurses and all kinds of people. You know, I had to make sure all the financial stuff is in order first. But here, it was the, the doctor all the way. And when he was done, he, he, he was helping them, you know, get everything, the IV out, pull the IV out that I had in my arm, which, by the way, I got to tell you, they put a piece of tape on my arm to hold that thing in place that, do, I think Dr. Fernandez did this on purpose and got a big kick out of it because he was going to take, he pulled the IV out and he was going to take the tape off and I told him, I said, just grab it and just rip it right off. And what does he do? He goes... And I can see all the hairs pulling. I'm like, I chihuahua. I could not believe how he pulled that tape off my arm. He didn't rip it off. And then he had this grin on his face. I knew. I knew he was doing it on purpose. All in all, you know, I got everything taken care of. It took about two hours for my legs to wake up and get out of there. It was quite an experience trying to get my clothes back on with hardly any movement in my legs. Dr. Fernandez helped me get dressed. The doctor did, the surgeon. He helped me get dressed. And when it was time to go, we went outside, we put me in a wheelchair, we went outside, Juan pulled us back his car in. Dr. Fernandez pick, helped pick me up and seat me down in the car because I didn't have enough strength yet in my legs to be able to stand up on my own. There was a couple of times I almost fell, and if he hadn't have been there, I would have been on the floor. When I got off the bed to get, pull my pants up, I almost lost it then, and he caught me. He, this is the doctor, the surgeon was doing all this for me. That's the kind of service you get here, folks. Healthcare here in Ecuador is unlike any in the United States that you'll ever see. You get personalized service from the doctors from the start to the end. I couldn't believe it. I have so much respect and admiration for this guy. It's, I don't know, I don't know how to express it any better than that. His name is Juan Fernandez. He's an orthopedic surgeon 
If, when you come here and you need a hip replaced or shoulder work done or a knee replaced, this is the guy that's going to take care of you. And when you meet him, you're going to realize he's a surfer dude. He's got a great sense of humor. He's young. And he's, got a, he's, he's, he's highly educated, highly skilled. He was trained in the UK, I believe. He's also in the military. And he's getting ready to leave uh, here for a, a six-month tour in somewhere in Afghanistan or somewhere. I don't know. I don't really recall exactly where it was at, but he's going to be gone for six months. But And then, and then on top of all this, uh, he, before we actually leave the clinic and he helps me get in the car and all this kind of stuff, he comes in with a big old bag and it's got all my medication in it. Dr. Fernandez went to the pharmacy and got my medicine for me and brought it all to me. And then he wrote it out on how, you know, he, he wrote out what the medicine is and, you know, how, how to, the dosage information and all that stuff. Incredible. I remember when I had my surgery done in, in the States on my hernia surgery, the doctor didn't even come in and check on me to see how I was doing. I was in recovery. They took the tube out of my throat and woke me up, pulled all the tubes out and said, adios, you know, make room for the next one. But it was not like that here. Dr. Fernandez took care of me from the minute I got there until I was going down the street to come home. So that's how that's how it is that's that's how it is with healthcare here in Ecuador. You're gonna love it. Today, yesterday and today, today's my second day in recovery. I'm here at home and I'm I'm doing okay. I've got a little little bit of pain. Well, a lot of pain, really. Can't hardly stand up. And, but I got lots of people helping me out. So I got people helping me, cooking for me, and bringing me stuff to eat and all that kind of stuff. And, but this is not about me. This is about Dr. Juan Fernandez and how healthcare treats you here in Ecuador. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you didn't like this video, then give me a thumbs down and bite me. <laughs> oh, no. No, thanks. Really? No. Okay. All right. That's it. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.